everyone. Lori Marie here, mixed media artist in Vallejo, California. It's about a thousand degrees here in Vallejo today. Um, I've walked the dog, I've done my boot camp workout, I've showered twice. <laughs> so I'm going to go for a massage in a little while, so that'll be great. Um, thanks for joining me today. Please subscribe to my channel if you haven't. That would be great. <clears throat> today we're going to play with uh, alcohol inks. Alcohol inks are fun because they stick to or color metal, ceramic, glass, all those things. And I'm going to make a rose on a ceramic tile and also on a mirror. Um, some IKEA framed mirrors were given to me and I'm going to use them for the flowers. So this is something that I'm going to be playing with in class this week. Uh, it doesn't take very long to make the flowers. It's really fun. So uh, you can probably make a couple of them. I've got some small ceramic tiles. I'd like to find a large ceramic tile to see if I could possibly make more than one flower on uh, the tile. But we'll see how that works out. So we're going to jump right to the table and I'll show you what I've done and how I did it. So uh, hope you're not too hot and we'll see on the table. Okie doke, welcome back. Uh, these are three of the roses or flowers that my sister and I made on ceramic tiles uh, with the Tim Holtz alcohol inks. I'll show you those. And then this is the one that uh, the frame, it's an Ikea frame with a mirror in it and several of these were given to me so I decided I want to make it, wanted to make some kind of a flower in it. It's kind of interesting with the reflective background in there, but these are on the ceramic tiles, just a white ceramic tile. And uh, so far we've just made one flower in each, so I'm going to attempt to make some smaller flowers and see if I can make like a small bouquet. So that's what they look like, the finished product. What we're going to be using today is the Tim Holtz uh, alcohol blending solution. Can you see that? And then he has some really delicious um, colors in the alcohol inks. So we're going to use th three colors, one for the background and then two for the actual... Oh, I s colored my sister's hair purple, so I have some fun purple on my hands today. Um, but I'm going to use one color for the background, maybe this one. This is honeycomb. might use that for the background. And then I really like the purple and the pink for the flower. So that's my go-to. Uh, so I might try some of the clover in there. We shall see. Maybe some botanical. I don't know. We shall see as I go forward. But I'm going to take you along with me. And um, you can cover your finger with like a little uh, finger condom. I'm sure that's not the correct word for it. but something to cover your finger if you don't want the stain on your finger. It does wash off. You shouldn't have to worry about that. And a Q-tip, which I had a Q-tip around here earlier, but I don't see it now. So you'll need a Q-tip. Oh, here it is. A Q-tip for the finishing of the flower. Alrighty. So, uh, yep, I will get everything ready. We'll go through it together and we shall play. Okay, gang, welcome back. So I have my ceramic tile here. This is the one that we're going to do first. I'm going to take my alcohol blending solution right there. And I'm just going to put a few dot drops on the ceramic tile. Now you can use your finger to spread this around or I'm going to actually use the uh, Tim Holtz blending pad Looks like I've got some green on it. That's okay. <clears throat> I'm going to put some of the honeycomb on it. And I'm just going to blend it around. This is the background. And it'll dry pretty quickly because it's warm today and I do have the ceiling fan on. Hmm, that's kind of pretty. We're going to use that. All right, the colors that I'm going to use today are the purple and hmm, 
I have the red here. I don't know if I'm going to use the red or the pink. Actually, I think I'm going to start off with the purple. And you put a good sized dot of the purple alcohol ink on your piece. And then you just start at the center and you start rubbing the ink out toward the edges of your ceramic tile. Okay? And this creates the beginning of your rose. You can see it kind of building it a little edge there. And then as it dries, you're going to start to get squeaky, and then it's not going to move anymore. Now I'm going to take the pink. Put a few drops of the pink in the center. And I'm going to do the same thing, and I'm just going to work it out to that edge. Okay? And this is starting to create your flower. You can hear it get kind of squeaky as it dries, and it'll form a little ledge there. And then you just do this until you get as many circles in there as you want. As many petals. Put some more purple in there. Work that out to the edge. And just continue that until you get to the center. If it isn't drying quickly, you can kind of blow on it as you go. It helps it stabilize. So you put less ink each time you go, because of course you're spreading it over a smaller area. You can do this in any colors you want. I just happen to be crazy about the purple. Nice squeaky sound. And then at this point you can just put a solid color in the center and just leave it. Or you can continue to make smaller circles. Eventually your finger is going to be too fat. And so you will use a Q-tip in there. Oh. Take the lid off I guess is important. So you could do that and just leave the center like that if you wanted. I'm not quite there yet. I'm going to grab my Q-tip now. Just kind of spread it with that Q-tip. My finger just gets too fat. <clears throat> and then I'm going to put some purple on the Q-tip. It's kind of hard to control it. This is like a peony. This is really fun. And I found out you can use gel pens to um, embellish it near the end.
think I'm pretty happy with that. There. Pretty fun. So uh, I had mentioned that I was going to try to put a couple of flowers on a ceramic piece. And so I played with this. And then I went in with the gel pen and I just lightly put in some little branches. I hope you can see those. Branches and little leaves. Just ever so slightly. And then uh, with a yellow gel pen, I went in the center of the flowers and just put little dots in there. Hopefully you can see that. So this is a really fun something-something to play with. You can do quite a few because uh, it doesn't take long. And So this is the one that we did today. I might grab, let me grab a gel pen. Kind of a flesh color actually and then I can go in and just put a couple of dots maybe there we go. then you could go around the edge make some polka dots on the corners if you wanted well, maybe a little leaf or something brighten it up and then what I would do with this piece is I would take my Krylon uh, acrylic spray clear and I would just seal this so it didn't go any place so there you have it a fun little something something to play with today uh, ceramic tiles the mirror which I think is very fun for a different look. You can always go in with your gel pen and embellish that, which would be fun. And that is it. So, alcohol ink fun. Go create. Go play. Go have fun.